Howdy y'all, I am Ice Gold, and I'm gonna be doing the Death Spell tier list today. Death is, without a doubt, an S tier class. Uh, <laughs> they, like, you can see that, you can look at some of these spells and you just know <laughs> where some of them are gonna go, so... Yeah, Death is easily the best school in the game right now. Per the new Rochambeau stat wheel that has been around since Novus, uh, Death has been classified as a damage and resist school so yeah death has the best stats in the game they have the best spells in the game you know how it goes <laughs> let's just get started so avenging fossil i'm gonna put this in the c tier it it does good damage but it's like it, it tries to do that same thing that sun serpent does where it does like a big hit on a single target like a boss and then it'll do like like a back end type of hit to everybody else and this it's just not sun serpent <laughs> it's like i don't really rock with the whole overtime deal with that so yeah avenging fossil is going to go in the c tier it's it's the same concept as sun serpent but this is like we have sun serpent at home so it's going to end up in the c tier bad juju yeah, I mean, you probably could have guessed it's a 90% weakness and you only have to take 300 damage for it. And this, like, back before the game became all, like, Mickey Mouse and stuff, uh, it's like the Storm Titan, for example. Um, you used to need this spell. <laughs> you used to need, like, a, a Death Jade with this spell. And, like, occasionally the you would get a teammate that would use, like, Shadow Trickster and... It's it's like they they would use the spell for three pips and then steal a pip from the boss while they were in trickster mode, um, so they could just keep using this back to back to back and yeah it's it's honestly pretty crazy. I mean three pips it's like you take barely any damage and you put a ninety percent weakness on the target. It's it's kind of hard to argue with that. It's like it's so cheap to put on to just like nullify the target's next hit so yeah juju is very very good banshee i'll put this in the seats here it's uh like all the other three pip spells it's good for crocotopia but it kind of falls off afterward call of Kralu. this is the first aoe drain that i will be entering into the list and aoe drains just in general are like they're always going to be worthy of s tier it's like it'll do less damage but being able to drain like even less than you usually would on a drain but being able to drain like all of the targets makes the spell so so good it's like uh ferric he soloed pre-nerf hall of heroes i want to say uh on his death wizard and he he basically got by by just using this spell and scarecrow a bunch <laughs> and he was able to stay in the fight pretty easily because he just kept healing uh with the drains and whatnot and uh, he eventually won because of it so yeah kala Kralu, just for being an aoe drain definitely belongs in the s tier there dark pact uh i think i'll i'll honestly put this in the a tier because it's like this is a spell where you can like this will take off a weakness that's on you and then it'll put uh, two balance blades onto yourself and it's like good <laughs> it, it, like, like you could sharpen this and get 35 blades it's like this spell it's honestly pretty nice if you're going against a boss that likes the weakness a lot so i think i like you know basil the brigand out in novus i want to say is where he's at and it's it's like a spell like this to take off the weaknesses and like the v plagues and stuff it's like that, that'll give you a blade it's really really good and since it got changed to moon damage on yourself it doesn't take off your death blades anymore so dark pact i would highly recommend using this card it's a good card to have uh, as a death wizard and you can get it as early as level 35 so in theory you could have this before you get to dragon spire which is as y'all know the world where like everything in their dog knows weakness dark sprite will be going in the d tier it's just like lackluster damage <laughs> and you can replace it real quick anyway deer knight um I'll put this in the A tier, to be honest, because it does really good damage. It does 570 in total for uh, for three pips, and that's just the base version. 
but it's like this this really does hit for a lot it's just uh there, there are better spells <laughs> this just gets to be as high as it is because of the sheer amount of damage that it just does so dear knight a tier without a doubt dream golem i mean vampire is just better i'm <laughs> i'm gonna put this in the in the d tier it's it's uh, it's not great dr von's monster Mm, I think this is Death's strongest hit for quite a while. My level 68 to 88. Uh, I think I'll put this in the B tier. Because it is like a good drain. So, yeah, B tier sounds about right for that. It does pretty good damage. Gives you a nice little drain. Pretty good. Empower, S tier. <laughs> I mean, think about it, you know, this this does the same thing Dark Pack does. It'll take off a weakness, and it'll give you three pips. And it's like, just the, just being able to get three pips in general is, in my opinion, like, really, really good. Because it's like, uh, if you're questing Wallaroo, and, you know, you use your Frenzy into your 7 pip AoE or whatever, and it doesn't kill, you can empower into your new Wallaroo spell, like Wabagong Frenzy, down here for a death. And... It's like it doesn't take as many rounds to clear a mob fight anymore. So it's like this is a really, really good card for that reason. Right on its heels is Faint. This is easily an S tier spell. I mean, 70% to the next like income and damage spell uh, is like that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, <laughs> and, and with how many of these you can stack, it's like there is there is a reason why everybody uses faint. It is really that good. So yeah, and then ghoul. I'll put this in the C tier. Usually the level five spells would go down in the D tier, but ghoul is a drain, and y'all know how I feel about drains. <laughs> it's really really good for that. So yeah, gravestorm. I'll put it in the B tier. It's it's like Wraith, but for less bips. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Gravestorm in the B tier. That's where I think I'll be putting it. It's a pretty solid drain. I gotta give... I gotta give it credit. It does pretty good damage on it. So, Grim Reader. This... Hmm. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just say screw it and put Grim Reader in the S tier. It... It's like the the eight pip version. I think does somewhere around eleven hundred. I could be wrong there, but eleven hundred and thirty two thirty five percent chromatic weaknesses. It's like this is just a bomb, but better <laughs> without a doubt. So yeah, Grim Reader is going to go into the S tier just because the sheer amount of damage that it deals plus. It's like putting the weaknesses on, the chromatic weaknesses. It's like it is so, so good for those reasons. Headless Horseman. Um, if it was still four pips, it would go in the S tier, but it's not, so it's going to go in the B tier. Um, it is still a really good spell. I think... Uh, mm, mm, you know what? I think I'll put it in the A tier, actually. <laughs> it's like, usually the Nova spell is the spell that I would put up here because it's, uh, you know, the strongest single target hit that you can use on the first round, but in Gravestorm's case, uh, that is not what's going on, so Headless Horseman will be Death's strongest first turn single hit spell. So, it's uh, it's pretty good. It does it still does do, like, good damage, so <laughs> it's like, despite the pip cost going up, it's still going to be in the A tier, in my honest opinion. Kia. They, uh, they ran out of ideas for this one. Anyway, it does meat damage, <laughs> and uh, it gives you a 35% balance blade. So, yeah, I mean, at least it's only four pips, but I'm still going to put it in the C tier. It's, it's just not that great. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't bother really spending uh, money on Burrower Packs just to get this. Death's King Art, this actually does pretty solid damage. Uh, it's it's right up there with Dr. Vaughn. So there are situations where you could use this. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it in the B tier. In fact, I've got the same utility and all that. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put King Art up here. Might as well. It does uh, decent enough damage. It's like a little behind Dr. Vaughn, but for one less pip, I think that's all right. Lord of Night, uh, D tier. Yeah, uh, 
this is gonna be the only drain that you see down this low it it just doesn't do good damage and the infection is decent util but it's it's still not that great mass infection has a tier of its own i only have it in here because it's one of the avalon spells so yeah mass infect is going to go in its own tier monster mash this is actually a pretty solid spell if you were to like if you're just against like a single target for example you could you know just put like an infect on that target and then use this the next turn and it would do just absolutely mass you can't enchant it i believe so that's kind of tough but you know <laughs> monster mash it still does pretty solid damage for what it is it's like this it, it does require some setup but it is good at what it does poison i'm also going to put in the a tier it's it's a cheap damage over time you love to see it yeah <laughs> poison is just a, a good spell to have kismas curse uh yeah i think i'll put it in the c tier it does good damage again just for what it is i probably said that a million times uh, over the course of these tier lists but c tier is where kisma is going to end up it does good damage for a four pip but yeah uh, <laughs> not not too great uh sacrifice this this is actually a pretty strong heal <laughs> i can't lie um it it uh it's the it's got the same thing going on with the 250 moon damage and it'll heal you for 700 or it'll heal any target you use this on for 700 rather and so it's it's good it's like 700 health is 700 health kind of hard to argue with that scarecrow is up next like y'all already know this is going in the s tier um <laughs> Like, it's another AoE drain, just like Call of Kralu, and it does, like, good damage, too. So, yeah, Scarecrow definitely going in the S tier for that. Scion of Death. This, this is an interesting one. Uh, the conditional is either you or the target has to be at 33% health or less, and, you know, if you're, and if you're doing, like, normal PvE type stuff, the target is not going to go down to 33% when you have 11 per when you have 11 pips. So yeah. Um, <laughs> but in the later worlds, you actually are going to be at, you know, lower health as you do like boss fights and whatnot, uh, just because of how stats have been on new mobs and bosses. So you can find a use for this, uh, in, in a world like Wallaroo against the Eric bosses and all that. So, yeah, Scion of Death, it's going to go in B tier. Ship of Fools. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it uh, It's another AoE drain. It's... Yeah, it's it's so good. It's it's one of those round one hits. It's one of those cheap hits that you can just throw out there. And it'll do, like, honestly pretty solid damage. And then it'll drain half of it back to health. So, yeah, Ship of Fools is going to go in the S tier for that reason. Skeletal Dragon. This is actually really strong over time. Um, it's like if this worked better with feints, I would put it higher, but it's an overtime, so naturally it won't. But Skeletal Dragon, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> like it does mass, so yeah, I, I could I could see myself finding a use for this in some situations on a Death Wizard. So B is where it'll end up. Skeletal Pirate, I feel like this lacks just a just the slightest amount in damage. Uh, it's really put this higher, but I don't know. It is it is good. It is a, like a good spell, but you get faint by this point, so <laughs> it's like faint into vampire just gets you more bang for your buck, I guess. Snack attack, S tier again. Uh, it's the push curse is sort of like what makes this spell an S tier spell. It's it does lose out on a little bit of damage, but it does more than Scarecrow. So it's like my usual deck setup just for PVE is like Frenzy and Enchants and then Scarecrow, Snack Attack, and then Wabagon Frenzy. So yeah, this it's it's a staple because it's one of those spells where it's like if you get weaknessed or something like that, then you can just like push it over <laughs> and uh, you'll, you can just hit without having the weakness on, which I think is really, really great. So 
yeah, this is going to go in the S tier. It's uh, The seven pip version actually does quite a bit of damage, way more than Scarecrow, so would recommend packing that, even though it's a <laughs> pretty goofy spell in general. Vampire. This... Uh, I'll put it in the C tier. It's like, it drains for a good amount, but it's like the, the damage on it could be better if you know what I'm saying so yeah uh, it loses damage because it's a drain but it is still a drain so I'll put it in the C tier it won't uh, drop down any lower so C tier is where I will put Vampire V Plague this also could be an S I just decided to check this one in because I mean two pips for 40% weakness on all of the enemy targets is really really good and it, yeah i mean it's like this and bad juju were sort of like the two main cards that death wizards were using uh, way back before the storm titan ever got nerfed so yeah this is uh <laughs> this is definitely good definitely worthy of best here winged sorrow i wish this card was better but it just isn't and yeah, I'm going to put it in the D tier. It's got such a range to it. I just realized that. It's got a range of 180 damage. And then the plague afterward is just not that great. So, yeah. This is the lowest I'm probably ever going to put a Shad spell. But Winged Sorrow, I think, is worthy of the D tier. It could have gone a little higher, I want to say. Um, if Grim Reader didn't exist. But, yeah. I mean, Reader, it's, it's so much better than this. So... Yeah, it's it just sort of becomes redundant after a little while. Wabagong Frenzy, like I mentioned before, definitely an S tier spell. It does 405 death damage, and you know it's uh, it's a good first round AOE spell. It's like before this came out, I was using Ship of Fools, but now you know Wabagong Frenzy. That's an over 100 damage improvement so it's not a drain but it does still do really solid damage for a first round hit wraith is the final spell we've got here and i will be putting it in the a tier um it's it does like mess <laughs> it's it's like this is when you start a it's like you, you start to really see how much value you can get out of a drain it's like draining for 500 it's like this is a 750 value card for six pips it's like storms get that <laughs> so yeah wraith uh, wraith is gonna go in the a tier just because of how good it just is on its own so that is going to wrap up this tier list thank y'all for watching i've been ice gold be sure to like subscribe and leave like 50 comments for the algorithm my discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more and i will see y'all later